That is Ow. fantastic. <laughs> what a brilliant beer. That's what a like, great um, beer. It's like a chocolate ganache with like a raspberry confit on top, you know? Jeez, all right. Would you liken it to that? Or? <laughs> yes, I would. <laughs> Are you a brew head? I'm a brew head. Are you a brew head? I'm a brew head. Y'all a brew heads? Yeah, we brew heads. So pour a glass of craft beer. We can do this. Yeah. What's good, y'all? This is C Certified Brewhead. And I'm Scott Beer, Cold Beer Enthusiast. And welcome to a very special edition of Beer Mail here on BUS. Quite special. Very special. So, as of today, this is still unreleased. A uh, huge shout out to Layla at Judas Yell for blessing us, fam, with this uh, Johnny Peche pack. Our homie. Our homie. We really, 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 really love Judas Yell. Is that too many reallys? No, uh, no. I felt like that was pretty accurate. Yeah? Pretty accurate. Pretty accurate. Yep. So we did a video uh, last week with the um, uh, the just the bourbon one. Yes. And I was alluding to the Peche pack that I heard was out, and I had a little Easter egg because it was sitting right down here, and people were like, "Yo, like I see it down there. What are you talking about?" <laughs> so like, shout out to like two people who picked nice. that. Nice. So basically, uh, Journée Peche is Saturday, March twenty fourth, all across the world. And we uh, we went last year. I was here in Montreal with Tiff and Rich yep. and Stefan. You were in Toronto. Yep. On College Street at Barvolo. At Barvolo. Birriera Volo, actually. Sorry, yes. On Fetlo. Right. And uh, we are most certainly going again. Uh, I'm going to be, Tiff and I are going to be at uh, GDCL here in uh, Montreal. Nice. And um, I'm looking forward to trying them. But this is the pack. So this is for, this is some of like the highlight beers. Um, in this pack, we have four different beers. This one is the Tomo Pilas. That was one of these last year yep. as well, which is a single origin uh, coffee one. Uh, this bad boy, I think is my favorite. Oh, this is the bourbon barrel. So this is the one that I had the other night. The bourbon 2018 us. I said 2017 because it said 2017 on the bottle, but it's the 2018 release. I think I'm most excited about this one, the Frem, Frembois. Frembois. So the Frembois, the yep. raspberry edition, which yes. is uh, very exciting. I don't think yes. I had that. That wasn't there last right. year. Right, yeah. That's why I don't that's remember the new it, one, I guess. Yeah. And uh, the milk stout? The latte. Okay. Well, so, yeah. Well, milk yeah. stout latte version. Are they all, yeah. They're not all it's milk stouts, latte. right? Uh, no, they're coffee stouts. Right, that's what I thought. So we'll probably start with the bourbon, I reckon. Start with um, the bourbon? What would you like to start with? I think maybe the... From what? Yeah. Go uh, fruit we'll first, yeah. I feel like bourbon's it. last. Like, that's the real... From what I remember from last year, that was the one that but had Because the most... I drank it, it doesn't taste super bourbon-y, and okay. I think because it's so new. Okay. Um, well, I'm just going to disregard everything you just said, and we're going to go... Frem. We're going to run that. That's how we're going. Uh, so, Peche Mortel is a one of the top beers in Canada. Thank you, sir. Cheers. Uh, we're doing small pours because we want to get this done uh, in a reasonable fashion. And, of course, they are all 9.5% uh, coffee stouts. Um, oh, God. So, this is one of the best beers in Canada. It's a very sought-after beer as well. A lot of people oh, come extremely. down from the States to just to get this beer. And oh, yeah. A lot and of people age and sell these and collect them. and Very much so. People yeah. doing like, like some uh, verticals and stuff. Yes. So, is it 9.5 as well? Uh, I believe it was, yeah. Uh, 9.5, yep. Yep, from Buzz. It's brewed with real raspberry, so I guess I've just added that. And so it's a coffee stout primarily. So right. So a shit ton of coffee in here. It's, yes. And that was one of the OG beers that uh, had a, like a real lot of um, uh, adjuncts in it. Yes. So if you like, that's what JF said to us. If you're gonna do it, mate, go hard. We'll go home. Get in, yeah. yeah. Oh man, that is Ow. fantastic! <laughs> what a brilliant beer! That's what a like a great um, beer. It's like a chocolate ganache with like a raspberry confit on top. You know? Jeez, all right. Would you liken it to that? Or? <laughs> yes, I would. <laughs> Who can say it better? You Viva know what? Puff, a Viva Puff. If you know about Tiff, you know those little, um, they're like uh, chocolate cookies with marshmallow and there's like raspberry inside oh, and it's yeah. Viva Puffs. Yeah, Viva Puffs. Tastes yeah. like a Viva Puff okay, fan. Nice this little splash is for now. That's a Viva Puff. That's that's awesome. Yeah, this is so I like, good. Like when they, like, yes, there's raspberry in there. You can taste it. It's in your face. It's like. But it's still subtle. But subtle enough. Like. It just, just gives this like little tangy yes sourness. The There's a sourness yeah, to it that complements the coffee yeah. and the roasty bit of dark chocolate as well. Do you know what it reminds me of? You said those two things. I don't know if you have ever been to Joey's. They have this chocolate lava cake with like yep. a raspberry. Okay, I don't know if it's like coulis or yeah, 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 whatever yeah. you call it, like a raspberry sauce. Dark chocolate so like, and raspberry go so well together oh, in general. So once again, chalking up the dub for Judicio right here. This is phenomenal. 
man. What a great one. So next, do you know what? Since we're going the more soft ones, let's go to the latte next. Latte was my favorite from last year. Cool. Did you have it last year? You didn't get to try it, eh? I think I did. I believe I did. Yeah? I'm pretty sure I tried every one last year. That they, but, but that they offered every, on Yeah, tap. and it wasn't the same as what we had ah, in Montreal. Okay. So Montreal has everything. Because remember we were texting, you're like, oh, did you try this one? And, and you were like, like what are you talking about? Right, but there's other ones that you said that I did try. Like, I yes, totally correct. remember the, the single The yeah. was around. Yeah. I don't think the latte went anywhere but Montreal. Okay. Which is why, and, and it also was not in the pack last year. Right. Which we didn't get. Right. But Noah reviewed the pack because he couldn't. Um, Noah Forrest? Say, Noah Forrest. Yeah. yeah. So he knows he gets that. Yeah. Uh, he got the pack last year. So I remember <laughs> reading his review because he wasn't able to get there. And I was just, I remember thinking, Oh man, you didn't get the latte. So this year I'm super stoked to see these two beers were what I was most excited about. Yes. Uh latte too. Mm. Man. It's it's intense. It's a it's big beer. It's so good. Yeah. It is so good. Mm. The best part is it doesn't drink like nine five. None of them do. They're real like like subtle. It's <laughs> I don't know. It's pretty big to me, okay. but I get what you're saying. Subtle is not the right word at all. It's very... Um, yeah, but yes, no, subtle is not a good descriptor for this beer. No. So it's not is... overbearing. It's not like... That's probably more what I they're meant. All, I think they're all 9.5. All 9.5, yeah. Yeah. There was one that was like 6 or 7 last year. Oh, really? And that's why I keep checking. Oh, uh, okay. The Bourbon's definitely... What's that one? That no, we're all 9.5. Okay, so yeah. all four of these are 9.5. Yeah. So there's no point in checking. But there was one of the list and there was like 15 different versions eh? last yeah. year it was crazy um just checking battery all right cool so um shout outs to the spieglow glasses yeah too. These thank are you for some, that by the way yeah this is this is all because of you man these, these uh, are the rogue uh collab with these Spiegel. nice uh it's not crystal is it yeah it's crystal. oh yeah i'm so nice fucking thin paranoid crystal. about these glasses, I know. dude I honestly, how to be pretty, honest, how nice are they? They're like, gorgeous. Yeah, I never, I only break them out when I'm doing stuff myself, yeah. just because I don't want anyone to mess up. Yeah, but you gave them to me, so we get the good stuff when we're doing Judy CL, mate. This is it's no, worth it. It deserves. No. It deserves this the real glass. Deserves this glass. And speaking of that, it also deserves to get it in us, to be in us, get in to you. getting it in you. <sighs> it's a coffee. It tastes like I just went Does. down to pack boat. Yeah. And I picked up a nice 12 ounce. By the way, how good were those coffees? We went to Gamba today. <laughs> that was really those good. Gamba almond Gamba milk is latte. Good. They were delicious. I've been there before. You brought me there before. Yeah. Montreal co- Montreal's coffee game is like Unreal. second to none in Canada, in my humble opinion. I think their food game, and every time I have a meal here, I'm always like Lit. blown away. It can be like the most. Seriously, like yeah. brunch here is on another level. Yeah. Like it is insane. The coffee, the brunch, the food. The beer, obviously. I like when like, you took it to Lily and Cole and you were like, this is the best. I was losing my oh. mind. <laughs> <laughs> we and went like, back there specifically. Let's go to the place. What was it called? Yeah. Scott yeah. Scott Scott <laughs> yeah. I still talk about it. It's my favorite brunch of all time. And it was just like. It was incredible. Just simple food done fantastically yeah. well. And mm. this beer is as well. Oh, fun pastiche. There's something about this. This one This one does what it for me. process here? In what sense? Do you know how this works? The Oh, like, like how they flavor, flavor it, you mean? Tell, yeah, yeah. Isn't that's a good question. A batch and then separating it and yeah, I think that's what they do. Yep. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah. So the other one has actual raspberries. This one has. So there's um, a base and everything's being added. That's right. Okay. Yeah, so they probably do an extra big base, mm-hmm. and um, they have, of course, a, a ton. It's like an all year round beer. Yeah, regular Pesh Motel yeah. is yeah. sold yeah. all year round. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Correct. So with the raspberries, I'm sure, like you know, I'm sure they siphon off an X amount of you know a batch just for this day. Now I think because last year, I don't know if they've done it every year. I assume they have, but that was our first one. Yes, and it was pretty big. So I'm thinking that what they uh, the motivation was, um, they they were doing like they didn't bottle either of these two, and, and the raspberry one wasn't even there. So now they're bringing up new varieties. And now they're like, oh, we need to bottle the latte one, right? Because it probably had such a great response, right? And it was my personal favorite, and I tried a lot, and it was a a messy day as you can imagine you're drinking 10 percent <laughs> stats all day yeah uh so it gets pretty hectic so yeah and then of course you know they've got this one which is actual termo pilas is the name of the uh coffee um yeah, i'm wondering how that's going to taste compared to the latte cause yeah that'd be a good one coffee next. style yeah and then they age these bad boys in bourbon barrels and I'm, yeah. I'm, these are prepared uh you know well ahead of time um they don't mess around with this particular beer being this is like one of the flagships. Look at that. Just look, look at that head. That is crazy. It's so frothy and frothy. And it pours, uh, it almost pours like motor oil. Like it's yes. this thick, just dark, viscous, like 
It's it's a beautiful it's looking it's beer. Really it's, a be- it's so sweet. So, but there's bitterness. Like I still have that lingering bitterness on the back of my tongue. Mm-hmm. It tastes like a cup of coffee. Yeah, it's a, it's an intense beer. I, I really that's what JF said. It. If yeah. you do adjuncts, do them right. Do them right. And put it. Oh, that he did say that. He said, "Do you want to taste like coffee? Put a hell of a lot of coffee in there. Yeah. Make it taste like coffee." And I feel like he's one of the few that actually does that and sticks to a lot of people, yeah. a lot of brewers. You know, like and there's nothing wrong with that. A little more subtle with the flavors, whereas I like his, and this, absolutely some beers call for that, but this beer specifically, this is like yeah, go hard or go home type of stuff. Yep. Super ballsy. Yeah. So we're going to determine. Toronto friends. Yes. Yes. Day will be at Bier Volo. Yeah. Bier, Bier yeah. Volo. Okay. And Godspeed. And Godspeed. Oh, Godspeed's Speed. doing it because of Bim. Ah, yeah, Bim, of right. course, right. Yeah. See, that makes me very happy because it means there's an yeah. East End and a West End location. Yeah. That's cool. And isn't that really funny that Toronto needs that because it's yeah. that fucking big? It's that yeah, big. It's that big, yeah. It's that many mans. You Love know? you, Toronto. Oh, God, it's so sweet. <laughs> Enough mans. Bare mans. Bare mans is there. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm. Oh, sorry. The viscosity is just yeah, out of control. control. So, okay. I'm just trying to get through this. I'm, I'm just there. trying to... I mean it in the best Just way trying possible. to choke this back. With... <laughs> <laughs> okay, you need, to, you need to relax. It's so sad. Do you know what I like? I don't know if they did this last year, these little like top labels. Yeah. To tell you what's uh, what's what. And it's super I like cool. that. I'm into it. Um, okay. This one just smells a little darker. A little like... Um, remember what that... Not what the words I'm looking for. Like bitter. I like, still have it's definitely less sweet. Those two were the sweet ones. Right. Now we're moving into the, the sort of more... Uh, Darker, realm. richer... Yeah, more bitter. So Layla said, "This is this doesn't really tell me. It's just with with coffee of the same name, Termo Pilas coffee. I don't know where it's from, right. but it's a mellower, light roast than probably the OG coffee, which I'm actually not sure uh, what they use for the OG um, uh, peche. And in that uh, spirit, we are going to get it in us. Oh yeah, cool. So it tastes, yeah, definitely lighter." significantly lighter and the other ones I remember just being whoa not in a bad way but just man it's sweet and intense mm. it's uh, it's a very hectic beer in the best of ways what do you reckon yeah it's a bit um it sounds a little mellow yeah but it still has that real bitter dark coffee flavor to it which I really appreciate yeah I think it's a little more coffee-y than the latte it's got a little more yeah, of that sure. pungent, dark coffee flavor to it. Yep, 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 yep. I think because the milk sugar, the lactose, right. definitely uh, softens it a little bit. And, yeah. and, and I, I'm assuming then that all the rest of them, aside from this one, they all use the same uh, coffee, which I've actually never been made aware of which particular uh, brand of coffee that they use overall in this one. I don't know if they partner with somebody for it or they just rock whatever. But there has to be probably some, if it's this level of flagship beer, it has to be a Layla, or if you could let us know, I probably should always ask you. I'm sure Noah will let us know. He always like lets us know stuff like this in the comments, which I really appreciate. Or if anyone else watching knows, comment, comment below. let us know. Let us know. We don't know, so. And Chuck, give us a thumbs up for uh, for Judy CL. Peche. And if you're going to Peche Day, Chuck us a thumbs yeah. up and then let us know which city you're going in. Because I've seen people in other places in Vancouver. There's one in Gastown. Yep. In Vancouver, which is super dope. Um, last year it was everywhere because excuse me it was the 10th anniversary and this is the 11th so it's not as like a big deal but I like it that it's uh, still man I wish you were here for that one because it's like I know this is like the OG the and JF was here he's going to be at this one yeah of course so I hopefully get to talk to him I haven't seen him for a bit JF is a G such a G JF is a legend it's going to be a uh, fantastic day and this is a gem one so I haven't seen the 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 list I wonder if there's like a list maybe you have to quickly look up if you get a second just to see on Peche Day and see if they actually have released a list of the other variants that they're releasing because last year they did it ahead of time because there was like clearly they've been prepared like eight to twelve months ahead. You know, it's not like do they do it at because we went to the other DDC location. Mm-hmm. Do they do it there as oh, well? Yeah. I'd assume it'd probably oh, be pretty yeah. big there, right? The, the biggest bigger. one, right? Yeah. It's probably even bigger. But like this one is walking distance, and you know, Layla and JF are based out of this one, so we get to hook up here. And last year we rocked up. It was minus like twenty four before wind chill. Wow. And luckily, they just walked us right. There was a huge... Dude, there was like 50 people at least 
lined up dying outside and because we knew them all covering DDC it. draws big crowds because even Ew. when we did the podcast with JF out at their other location it was dude, massive that was 500 at minimum well they were they release. just happened to have a, a ticketed bottle release that day and there was like lineups around the building and it was what, crazy did we time it for that or was it just happened to be hey I'll yeah, come to Montreal that just weekend just happened to it be happened that to be yeah in, and they were willing to do it and it was funny it was because cool, like JF, like everyone wanted to talk to JF that day, and he was just back with us, talking, like doing a podcast. No, like you've got an hour, we're like no worries. We'll yeah, we said, work. yeah, we're gonna be in and out, no problem. We'll like take his, as much later. time as he'll give us. Three <laughs> hours later, he's giving us like he's pouring beers that aren't finished out of the fermenter, being like, you have to try this, you have to try this. Such a genius. Or like, wow, like he was, got excited. And, he got uh, really excited, and it was such a great podcast, and had a great such a chat oh, with one them. All and, time faves. Yeah, and Jen was it? And Jen, Jen, yeah. yeah. Shout she out to was, Jen. Jen did a sick beer with um, Jen's dope. Uh, uh, Merritt and Hamilton because she's oh, from okay, Hamilton. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. She did one. I forgot what I, dr- I drank. It It was like it was like a saison. It was really dope, and it was a specifically like no, there's a collab with her. Back with the hometown. Cool. Jen is a G. Okay, you want to hear what the beer? Yeah, tell us what the different ones are, baby. As so, we get into the bourbon, Peche yes. Mortel Classique. Which is OG. Yep. Peche Bourbon uh, 2017. This one. Peche That's 18. 18. That's this one. This one. Peche Framboise. There you go. Yep. 2018. Peche Houblon uh, 2018. Peche Latte Blanc. 2018. Nice. Peche Thermo Pilas. Which is this yeah, one. Yeah, that's that guy. 2018. Peche Lager 2018. Peche Lager? Yeah. Yo, this is only at the, I'm only reading the Montreal location. Okay. What's a the Peche first one Lager? Was the German the... location? It was different from the. What is it? Is it a yeah, lager? Read this one specifically. Yeah, yeah maybe. Um, Peche Turbo Pilas, Peche Lager, Peche Isle, Peche Oh, Isle would be like a Scotch. Maybe barrel. yeah. Peche Divel, 2017. Peche Latte, 2017. Not the 2017. 2017. Oh, they got some last year. And then Cask Peche Mortel Extra Cask. Fuck X, off. That would be good. That's it? Yeah. I'm going to be drunk as <laughs> fuck. Our pubs in Montreal and St. Jerome will be offering 12 different variants from TV. Okay, yeah, yeah. Extra okay. Cafe would be they'd probably put it in Extra. a cask with more coffee coffee beans in the cask. That would be intense. Oh, I'm go- I cannot wait. This is going to be Do that one first so and get all lit. caffeinated. <laughs> I have to go past the, one of the cafes here on the way and get actual coffee. Right. And then go there and then just get Bellotto. There's only problem. This day is like, because this is so hectic. Because it's really hard to drink a whole bunch of, uh, you know, 9.5% beers. Is it though? Clint. Yes, it is. Did you do, you we mash up last year? You ended up at, uh, <laughs> you know. I ended up at a, uh, a cellar clearing out event. Event. How did that go? After a whole bunch of 10% beers, I guess it was you. Yeah, just it was pretty hectic. On, right? Yeah, I just soldiered on, keep it, kept it going. And... But you feel it. You feel like like you kind of feel after a while. I remember, we, me and Rich came back here. And we filmed videos too, so we yeah. were still ma- way too mash up to be doing things like that. Yeah. But 2018 now. So this was the beer that I reviewed the last week, or what? I don't know when this is. It's probably dropping this coming weekend. So the last week, uh, I I reviewed this one, uh, this pack here. And I mistakenly um, put it down as 2017, and Noah corrected me and said it was 2018 because the bottle says 2017, but that's when they bottle it. Right. But it's the 2018 release. Right, right, and I right, mistakenly, right, right. Uh, labeled as that, so I changed all the, the text. So, so from memory, last year, this was my favorite. The Ooh. bourbon edition was my favorite. The 2017 bourbon? Yeah, that was the so, one. So this is the 2018. Have you ones. had other, it's 2018 ones. Have yeah. you had other bourbon ones from other um, years? No. I don't know if I have, but due to some of the comments, people were saying it was uh, 2017 was one of the weaker okay. years. Okay. Uh, I think they'd, I don't know why. Right. And, and it's the same as any like variant, kind of like a wine, like, you know, right. maybe that year to one year, year they had right. favorites and blah, blah, blah. Uh, I'm not experienced enough. So like, Judas Yell, like people who are like someone like even like Noah, he's got like everything of from That's every crazy. year. And like shelves of the shit. I've never seen anything like it. He's like, so we, I want to make sure when you come back one time, we can do like a, a vertical. He said, we can do a vertical of whatever you want. Do you know want. I've never done a vertical before? Yo, know, I've only done one, so we should do yeah. it. It'd be fun. Yeah, it was really cool. enjoyable. And we and we did a mini vertical. It was only four. And he said it was only because he had to drive. Otherwise, yeah. he could have gone like, I think it was like seven or eight. Wow. Of that same one. That was the Dark Saison. That's super So I'd love to do it with this, because this is probably one of my favorite Judas CL beers. Yeah. In that note, get in ya. Get it in ya. I think this is fantastic. 
Um, I think it's like nice. It's not subtle at all. It's the best one. Yeah, that is the, you like the bourbon that one the is the best one. It's you know through what? and through. I'm like really enjoying it. Like you can taste that bourbon in there, man. It's sick. Wow. Yeah. Right. So good. I'm, I'm glad. So now you've got an extra one. I want you to sell that one. I got it as well. So I think I'm gonna sell them and we'll just bust them out. Like maybe make them out of really, Christmas beers or something. I'm re- from that list. There's a there's a Eiley one like the a, Eiley, yep. yeah that is oh, that's gonna be insane one, yep. the logger I, I don't even what, get, even what is, is that, that? <laughs> what is that I have to text Layla and be like yo what are you even like what what what's going it's on? an imperial stout that's lagered I don't like, know what they really blend it with a lager I don't but, know. I don't even know if TDC do a lager dead ass I don't think they do I can't think of one that they they do, do a um a Sentinel I think is a Kolsch. If I'm not mistaken. So Lagerdale. But maybe. it's not like uh, even a standard Kolsch. I think it's got something in it. Like they all have something in it. Yeah. Like they, they, they're not, they don't play. That's why they're one of the best breweries like literally in the entire country. Like top three, top five in the country from time. Uh, but this is phenomenal. This Straight is, up though, this is one of my like one of my favorite stuffs going. Like, isn't it? It's the, amazing. The bourbon one specifically. And, and you know, people were like, yeah. Some people were, when, when I posted the last one, they were like, I checked the top two rated beers in Canada on I think Beer Advocate. Number one is OG. Number two is bourbon. Beer. Yeah. So the top two rated beers in Canada is this beer. Yeah. Isn't that amazing? It's. And just, I don't think it's exaggerated, man. Like at all. Not I think even it's a based on bit. what JF told us. It's like don't skimp on the if you if if it's a bourbon barrel age, make sure it's, it's got there's, there's bourbon, bourbon, bourbon in there, yeah. right? Make sure it tastes like it, and it yeah, does. It's, it certainly does. It punches you in the mouth in the most uh, respectful way possible. It sure does, and it's uh, yeah, it speaks for itself. And I think you know, yeah, people really respect it. It's highly sought after across the world, and it makes me uh, super grateful that we live so ridiculously close, and we have Crazy. a strong connection there. That you know, thank you, Layla, for this. Thank you so much. I, yeah. I, I can't express this is it amazing. Like, this is really cool. Layla's amazing. I love. Yeah. Her. She's always been so just warm and kind. Shout out to everyone at DDC. Everybody. Shout out to JF. Shout outs to bourbon barrel aged stouts and raspberry stouts and, and raspberry stouts and, and, and stouts and everything and single origin stouts and everything yeah. else tiffany just read out and, and cheers to episode <laughs> hey our, yeah, yeah podcast true, episode true. 40 go back and check it that out that was a great one yeah that was, that and was our faith and what true yeah link, we'll put the link at the end link in the description yep, yep. so you better uh at, li- at the description and in the little end yes. thing thing uh, cool. so at, at uh on that note if you enjoyed the video please give us a huge big fat thumbs up hit subscribe below and hit that notification bell so you can be alerted when we drop in the next videos follow us on social media at baos podcast uh an extra big chuck us a like for the lights i really like the lights i just looked at them and was like oh fuck we can, we can do an extra like for that. Yeah, it's so pretty. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um, and uh, uh, the, the the podcast, the long form audio review and rate us and subscribe, of course, on Apple Podcasts. It would really, really help us. We're really trying to like get up, and apparently, you need to have reviews and rates, ratings, and stuff to do that. And uh, we don't come up as heavy in the search, even though we've been around for nearly three years. So I think that's because we just need more reviews and rates because people don't generally proactively do yeah. that. So if you could do that, if you subscribe. Please do it if you don't. Like it would mean a lot to us. That would be really appreciated. That is it. Scott B. Cole, you're a legend. C certified brewhead. Get it in ya. Cheers.